In this question, we're being asked for the function of the underlined portion in the text as a whole. And that's one of three prompts that really just mean get the main idea. If you're asked for the underlined sentence, the overall structure, or to complete the text. Really, if you can understand what you're reading, then you can answer any question. So let's go ahead and try to do that here. So we have this poem. The speaker is on a path in an outdoor setting. A slight wind shakes the seed pods. My thoughts are spent as the black seeds. My thoughts tear me. I dread their fever. I'm scattered in its whirl. I'm scattered like the hot shriveled seeds. So really, really weird. And a lot of people hate doing the poetry, perhaps myself included. But going through this, we have seed pods that are being shaken by the wind. The narrator is thinking about them. My thoughts are spent thinking about them. And the seeds tear me. I dread their fever. I'm scattered in their world. I'm scattered like the hot shriveled seeds. So it's the thoughts of the narrator that are sort of really wild and all over the place as the narrator kind of observes something very routine in nature. And by the way, in all of that, the underlined portion is the part I'm circling here. A slight wind shakes the seed pods. So that's kind of the routine thing that happens. Pods that are full of seeds get hit by winds quite routinely. So let's see if there's an answer that relates to the idea that this is so routine as opposed to the narrator's thoughts that are so wild and crazy. So A, the underlined portion illustrates a change in the environment that the speaker implies is responsible for the growing misgivings. Well, I don't see any phrase that says that that change is what's responsible for it. The change in the narrator's thoughts definitely comes after that happens, but I never see a phrase saying, it's because of that wind that I felt all these things. Not going to be. The underlying portion establishes an example of consistency in the natural landscape that the speaker then contrasts with the unpredictability of human emotions. Once again, I don't see any sign that this wind shaking the seeds is consistent in nature. It most likely is. It's a natural thing. But I don't see any words that describe it as consistent. Now going to see the underlying portion presents an observation of an occurrence in the natural world that the speaker then expands on to convey a sense of a turbulent interior state. That sounds pretty good because we do have the observation of an occurrence in the natural world and we do have the speaker expanding on that and conveying a sense of a turbulent interior state. So that all sounds pretty good. Now going to D, the underlying portion evokes the ordinariness of an event in nature. Well, I already don't like that because we see that the wind is shaking the seed pods, but there's no statement to say that this is ordinary. So the answer here is C.